Hello. This is me. Um, this would be part two of my earlier video. And wow. If I was somebody else looking in on that conversation, I would be like, huh. Well, I see why. I see why. Your life is the way it is. Because all you do is complain. And feel sorry for yourself. And... You say you're a creator, but you're not creating. It's like you accept them. Because a creator don't accept. They create. They find other means of doing things. And they don't see nothing else but the way that they see it. So, if your life Yes, I'm speaking in what, what they call the third party, second party. If your life is that miserable, why aren't you creating another life for yourself? You say you created an identity. You keep talking about that identity. But what about that life? What you going to do to create another life? And with the new identity, what can it do for you? What is it doing for you? Is it doing anything for you? See, as a creator, there is no past. It's only now. And anytime you look back, you relive in the past. You, rel you relive in the pain. You relive in the struggle. You just relive in. And you're not living. So, if you want to move forward in your life, you got to leave the past alone. When you experience something and you saw that it was not for you and you kept running back to it, you was the reason of it. Nobody else. You made your, yourself available for all the the pain or all the confusion that you say others are having about you but you having those confusion moments about yourself that's why you keep going back to your past if something ain't for you you have to cut it off and create something new you created you new or you know you created a new identity but you keep going back to the past and then you sit there and wonder why no nobody understand you. You just say you recreated yourself so they don't know you. Why would somebody interact with somebody they don't know? They not gonna understand you. They're not. And see, you keep going back and forth fluctuating back and forth back and forth you saying you this person but then you go back to be that person you gotta stick to one personality one identity and go with that and create your reality with that because every time you go back and forth that's causing you confusion so you can't look at nobody else when they come to your life you can't say what somebody else ain't doing when you ain't doing nothing for your life yourself. Yeah, I was I was looking at the video and I'm like, wow, poor baby. You keep leaving the door open. It ain't even cracked. You keep it open for your past to come in and say hello. But you said you invented a new person. With a new person, you can't allow the past to come back in. You have to shit the door on the past. Everything that you're complaining about is of your doing. Nobody else's but yours. Do you even know what you want? 
do you even know what it what it would look like if um the type of person you wanted came into your life? Do do you even know this? These are the type of questions you need to be asking yourself. What exactly do you want? And stick to it. If you don't like talking to somebody or somebody making you miserable, why are you going back to it? Why? Obviously, you love it. Because you can't change nobody but yourself, honey. That's the only person you can change. Nobody but yourself. Stop looking at what others are doing and you just do you. Regardless, you say you created a, a new identity, but you still live in that old life with a new identity. How can you? <laughs> Come on, now. Nah. You know you can't do that. Because you, you haven't created nobody new. You're still the same person. That's why you keep interacting with the same people. Now, if you really, really, really serious about living a new reality and interacting with new people, you have to let go of the past. You have to walk into that, that light of being who you are now. Now, and I know it's going to seem crazy to other people, but see, you the one carrying all this pain of what other people are doing and what other people are talking about, how other people are treating you, you, you carrying it, you taking, you soaking it in, that, that's not for you, that's for them, whatever misunderstanding that they have going on, with you not talking to them or you not, you know, answering their phone calls or whatever the case may be. That's on them. That's not on you. And it's like you 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 feel like you have to make yourself available for people, but you don't. You have to make yourself available for yourself. For yourself. And that you're not doing. You're making excuses for yourself. And then you allowing things that you don't want to come into your life. You allowing it. Then you're wondering why. You can't wonder why. You see why. You have to cut shit off and start a new script. Start a new script. Write that script how you want it to be. But in order for you to write a new script, you have to have new characters. New characters. Because with a new person come with new characters, come with new experience, come with new everything. So you keep, you time traveling. That's what you're doing. You're time traveling. You go in your past and you, you, you can't even go get to that, that, that future experience because you, you ain't in your present. You keep reliving the past. You got to look at this. Because ain't nothing going on but you. That's it. So ain't nothing to wonder why no more. All you got to do is create. Like you say you do. You love creating new things. If you was creating new things, you wouldn't even be speaking like that. Because you would be experiencing new things. It's like you, you, you want to... Get some kind of validation from your past for you to be like, for you to accept that you a different person. You don't need no validation from your past to be who you are now. You don't need any. Just be who you are now. And you're never lonely. You aren't lonely because you allow yourself to be lonely. You got so much stuff that you can be, other things that you can be focusing on, but you're not focused on that. You keep 
it's something in the past that you just don't want to let go. You can't move forward if you hold on to the past. And that's your problem. You got to let stuff go. Because if you don't, you're going to keep reliving the same thing. And you keep saying that so much. I keep reliving the same thing over and over again like I ain't got my learn my lesson. Well, honey, you ain't. That's why you keep reliving your past. You the one got to accept that you is a different person now. You want you the one that got to let go of people and things that just ain't for you, who you are now. You got to make yourself available for who you are now. Do you even even know? Do you even know who you are now? What you saying? You created this new identity. Who are you? That's another question you need to be asking yourself. Who are you now? What you need to be around now? What you need to be doing now? What you need to be focusing on now? And who you need to allow and not allow in your life now? You the one got to get to the top, to the top of everything. Can't nobody do that for you but you. You keep having your, putting yourself in this little time loop looking for validation. And they ain't going to give it to you. And the one they give you, it ain't going to be the one that's for you. It's going to be for them. Whatever they dealing with, they got to deal, deal with it. Whatever you dealing with, you got to deal with it. That's how I go, and you know that. You are being creative, but it's like you get you get unconscious of something with your your when you in your out of your creative mode, you step back in the past. You can't do that. You gotta stay in your creative mode constantly, constantly, constantly. You gotta stay in your new identity constantly. You can't go back. Because that's when you start to become unconscious and you just start drifting. Just allow anything to happen, allow anything to come into your life, allow making yourself available for everything. And it's not serving you no purpose. You got to know this. So until you get your shit together, you're going to keep reliving the same shit. You the one is supposed to be who she is. And it's like you, you I keep saying the same thing because I, I want this to soak in. You ain't going to get that validation from other people, honey. You're not. You got to be who you are and stand in that no matter what. You got to do it. And you got to do it by yourself. And stop worrying and just create like you say you love doing. You say you love creating. Create. And let go. You got to let go. You have to let go of the things that are not serving you. You got to let it go. Because if you don't, you the one going to feel the pain from it. You're not in that environment no more. You're not in that space. You're not you're not on that same frequency no more. You're on a higher frequency and still trying to interact with low frequency people. What you think going to happen? It's going to make you feel miserable and confused because that is not your level. You have graduated to a higher level, but you're still trying to maintain this this new identity on a lower level you cannot do that you always gonna be confused honey always you know what's going on even if no nobody else go know what's going on and you keep having these conversations with people that's just clueless and you know that it's like you don't that shouldn't be painful of letting go of things that ain't serving you. That should be the easiest thing you have to do. 
is let go. It's like you like feeling the pain. Because you far from confused. Yeah, you, you put yourself in a little trance to start interacting with certain types of people or slash energies. You put your, yourself in a a certain mindset just so you can dip back down low. Go back to those people that you familiar with. You can't do that. If you want that better life, you got to walk in the light of who you are now. And you got to cut people off. It's just as simple as that. And you got to be You have to be consistent. You have to be consistent with your decision. Because you're not consistent. You, that, you, you keep going back. You got to stand in what you know that's right for you and that what feels good for you. And what's going to make your life prosperous and comfortable for you. You got to know all these things for yourself, honey. And stop looking for that validation from your past. Because your past ain't got shit for you. But you keep going back there like, hey, look at me. Look at me, my past. You see how wonderful I am? No, we don't. The past has a lot of scarcity in it. The past got a lot of programming in it. The past got a lot of, I'm doing fine, just the way I am. Denial. The past got a lot of denial in it. And when I say the past, that means your past self and the people that you used to interact with in your past. So when you interact with your past, all this stuff I just called that, that's what you interact with. And then you wonder why you feel so miserable and depressed. Because that's all what you're interacting with. Nothing new. Same old, same old. Scarcity. Mediocre. People who don't want nothing out of life but a job and a paycheck. And a vacation every now and then. That ain't what you want. So why you keep interacting with it? You the one got to be true to yourself, honey. You got to be true to yourself. You've been doing a lot of lying. Yes, you have. And I'm here to call you out. Mm -hmm. I'm here to call you out. Leave the past in the past. And step fully in your now. And what I recommend that you do is rewatch this video. Take you some notes. Because this is going to be the video that this changed. That just make your life turn a whole 360. For the better now. There's only if you do what I ask you to do. Only if you do what I ask you to do. If you don't, then you're going to keep continuing to, to go through what you've been going through. And that's reliving your past. So. Stay loyal to yourself first no matter what. Stay loyal to yourself first no matter what. No matter what's said. No matter how people think you just treating them so wrong because you was the one going through what you was going through <clears throat> and when nobody can about that can nobody help you when you was going through what you was going through nobody so in, in order for you to get back on your level on your high frequency you have to let go of your past it's just as simple as that ain't nothing else to do Raise your frequency first, and then watch what happens. Watch what happens. Watch what happens.
You're going to start meeting people on your level. The more you vibing on a low frequency, the more you're going to keep interacting with low frequency people. You know this. So stop lying to yourself, thinking that you can still interact with low frequency people and go high to a higher level. You can't do that. That's not possible. Well, frequency on, that's what you're going to keep attracting. You know this. So, I'm going to wrap this up, honey. Because uh, I done said all I can say. You just got to stay true to yourself. That going to feel a lot better. To try to get validation from other people that don't even understand where the hell you coming from. That's going to feel a lot better. You just got to do it, though. You got to do it. And don't look back. Don't look back. Now, which one you think the hardest? Struggling? Living in pain? Being confused? Or being comfortable? Being happy? Being surrounded with people who is like you or better than you. What? Which one? You decide. Creating that new reality that you want. Living in that, that world, that dream world that you want. You decide. Because the only person that can do it is you. Nobody else. No matter how you keep looking towards other people. Nobody else can do that but you. Love you, honey. I love you. You got to know this. I'm not telling you nothing wrong. You just got to see it for yourself. You try it. Stop it. Take another route. With your creating ass. That ain't creating shit. Try it. Try staying true to yourself. I'm going to say this. You gave yourself to the first of the year to go back on social media. So, give yourself the first of the year also to really work on yourself. Really. Raising your frequency. Do that. And watch the results that happen then. Watch that. But you first got to do it and you got to stick to it. You got to do it and stick to it. You can't go backwards. When somebody calls you, you cannot answer them. You can't do it. Because that's going to lower your frequency. Ain't Nobody that you're talking to or dealing with is expanding you. They are lowering you or keeping you stagnated. And you know this. You know this. And then it's like you, you get all... Sentimental and happy about just a, a pinch of, of, of progress, a pinch when you can have a fucking goddamn miles, miles, miles of progress. You creating this, this box for yourself. Stop living in somebody else's illusion. Of you, you don't you don't need a high off of somebody else's words that you think that's making you feel good. You need your own words that put you on a high. Stop it. The only person that can do this is you, honey, and you got to let shit go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. You the one made up that that fuck you slogan, and you ain't even sticking by it. You're not. You say fuck you, but you mean it literally, not the slogan. Like fuck you, you you we, I'm, you're nobody. <laughs> you and you said that that you confused and you don't know who you are. Yes, you do. You know who you are. You don't know who everybody else think you are, but you know who you are. And you keep trying to be that person that everybody think you are. You better stop that shit. 
Stop it. But um, I'm finna leave you with this. Love you. And I'm rooting for you. I am rooting for you. You're gonna make the right choice. You're gonna make the right choice. Or else, you're gonna continue to suffer.